It's December 14th. Paul continues his letter to Timothy, his protege, offering personal encouragement and practical instructions on the standards of behavior and expectations for church leaders and believers in general. Today's reading offers a wealth of instruction and concludes with a warning against materialism and a broader warning about the nature of temptation. 1 Timothy 6, 9-10 But those who are determined to be rich fall into a temptation, a snare, and many foolish and harmful lusts, such as drown men in ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Some have been led astray from the faith in their greed, and have pierced themselves through many sorrows. Paul warns of allowing ourselves to be trapped by desires that plunge us into ruin. Both Paul and Jesus repeatedly warn against being ensnared or carried away by the lusts and desires within our hearts. How sobering that these evil lusts and desires are within us. Yes, the believer is a new creation in Christ, but as long as we live in our present mortal bodies, we will war against our carnal nature. The battlefield is the mind. The evil desires within present themselves as thoughts, and it's what we do with those thoughts that makes all the difference. Do we give them attention? Do we entertain those thoughts? Our willingness to entertain them largely determines whether these thoughts become lustful desires. Following these desires can lead to disastrous consequences. Carrying out these desires can take you places you did not intend to go. Here's today's application. Examine your heart. Confess any impure desires to God and to other people if needed, those that you trust to help you walk in transparency and integrity. Set your heart on wholesome and noble things. Take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. As you do, you guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Now here's today's prayer.